praise him, y'all. Praise him, praise him, praise him. He done brought us through another day. I know he brought me through it. My day, I ain't do much today anyway. But I thank God for coming by and waking me up. I sure thank him for that. Sitting back just doing a lot of thinking and reading some scriptures, which I'm about to do now before I go to bed. I do a little more reading, you know. Earl this morning I did the twist, but I, I just <laughs> didn't record it. Didn't videotape. That was my exercise this morning. I got up and done the twist this morning. But, um, because I didn't go out walking today. Because on and off, they kept saying something about a tornado thing. And they kept saying about a flood watch. On and off, this rain. So I said, I ain't going to chance it. I'm not even going out there. <coughs> Excuse me. I wasn't going to take that kind of chance. I kept looking and looking. One minute it was dark looking out there. Then look at the sun come out. The dark and I said, uh -uh. I better not chance it going out there. Mm -mm. So that's why I just stayed on it this time. And just sitting back, looking at on YouTube, looking at some um some some things we you'd be surprised how people don't change their lives and they decide to live in the car. Not everybody had to live in the car, but they did it. Just one you know, got in some kind of situations and they live in their cars and some of them even got their children and I mean, they made it their home. You ought to see some of them places in vain how they pick, fix that thing up on the inside and school buses and stuff. I was just shocked. I saw my Lord. And they'd be cooking and I mean, it's like they're, they're regular home. I just sat back and, and looked. And especially at the ones that, you know, got in the situation where they ain't had no choice. But to live like, and thank God they had a vehicle to live in, you know. That's why I said we better be thankful for what the little we've got. We better be thankful. Don't be worrying about what somebody else got. Just be thankful we got a roof over our heads. We got food in our bellies, you know. Clothes on our backs. Getting medical care. We better be thankful. Well, so many people, so many people don't have those things. They really, really don't. And I'm not talking just for the third world countries. I'm talking about people right here in the United States. That's what I'm talking about. Who's living that kind of way. Taking their cars and things and just making it into a home. I'm serious. Making it into a home. Making things so that they can, like, you go bathroom and they got to take it out and stuff. Oh, mm. some, of them don't, some of them like it like that because they've gotten used to it and they like it. But I don't know, but there are some of them who just struggling, you know, which it wasn't like that. But there are so many on, so many people don't change their lives like that now. They really do. Living in an SUV or just a car or what is it, an RV. I said, oh my God. Even an old school bus then it turned into a home. I've just been watching this stuff for the last few days on YouTube. I said, oh my Lord Jesus, look at this. It's creative though. When you see what they do with a van. Or with, 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 especially a bus or RV really makes it into a home, their home, you know? Well, then there are some of them that's just on the street, you know, don't have a car or anything. They got to lay on the side of the street with a little tent or, or boxes and things like that. My heart goes out to them. I sit back and I want that. And we got nerve to be complaining about something. What we should be complaining about? Complaining because what? We don't have the, the, the right bed we want, but we got a bed. We're not living where we want to live in a great big house, a great big mansion, but we got a roof over our head. We're not, we're not um, 
able to go to those expensive stores and things and buy those expensive clothes. But we do have a store where we're able to go and buy clothes. You know? I I just look at this. And people wasting money trying to buy these expensive pocketbooks and things. The devil with those are expensive pocketbooks. Lord, you got stuff to carry your stuff in. No, you got something to carry it in. I don't care if, if it's a if it's a paper bag, paper sack. Long as you got something. Oh my God, my God, my God. Mm. Some of them you sit there and look at this kind of stuff. You'd be surprised what you see. I said, we got nerd to complain about something. I said, oh my Lord Jesus, help us, Lord. Mm. My God, my God, my God. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for what I have, Jesus. I thank you for this roof over my head. I thank you for the clothes on my back, the food in my belly. I thank you for shoes on my feet, Jesus. I thank you for medical care, Lord. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for continuing to watch over us, Lord. I thank you for just having a, a, a bottle of, of water. I thank you, Lord. Because so many of them don't have it. Don't have that clean drinking water. They got to drink the same water the animals walking around in or they're bathing in or washing their clothes in. They got to drink that water. We got a nerve to complain about something. Oh, my God, my God, my God. I hope the Lord helped me. Every time I'm ready to complain, I hope he just stopped me right there. Stop it, Dolphin. You know. Oh, uh. Ah. My God, my God, my God. I'm looking at him. Oh, glory. Mm, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. My God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Take another up now. Oh, glory. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all you've done. No, you will do. If you don't do another thing, I still thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory, Jesus. I'm taking another up now. Oh, I'm taking another up now. Oh, glory, 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 hallelujah, Jesus. Thank him. Y'all better thank him. You better praise him for what you have. The little you have is much to somebody else now. You better praise him. If you got some things you know you don't want, you can't use, don't just throw it in the trash. Take it to one of them boxes. Get it clean and take it somewhere. Take it to a homeless shelter somewhere. Take it to somebody, maybe somebody you know that will accept these things. Don't be so mean and nasty just because something you don't want, you don't want to give it to nobody else. The same way you, you, um, you got it, it can be taken away from you. You better remember that. Mm, my God, my God, my God. Oh, Jesus, help us, your children, God. Help us, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. It just makes you think. It really sit there and make you think when you look at these things. It really do. Mm. My God, my God, my God. I wasn't taking no cutting on you doing all that, y'all. I just was sitting here, came in my room, sitting on my bed, was just brushing my hair. And I just said, let me get on you and holler at y'all, because I really haven't been online today. Well, anyway, y'all have a, have one for a safe, blessed night. And thank God for it, that he brought you all through this day. Thank him, and thank him that you pray you where he will keep you through the night. He would keep your, his breath in your body tonight. And don't forget to thank him when you wake up in the morning. Anyway, you'll have a peaceful night's rest. Give God the glory. Know that I love you. And most of all, Jesus loves you. <laughs>